Hi DC fans, this is Damien Fashani from DC Comics News. Uh, we're here on Friday in the DC booth and we've got Josh Williamson here from DC Comics, writer and artist. Josh, thank you for talking with us. Um, we'd love to introduce you to our fans. Do you want to just give us a brief overview of your time at DC and the books that you've, you've, um, uh, that you've created? I mean, for the, I think the thing I'm most known for is working on The Flash right now since Flash Rebirth. I've worked on Justice League Suicide Squad. I'm working on Metal right now uh, with Scott Snyder. Uh, I wrote The Button with Flash Batman crossover. And I've done a bunch of different stuff for DC over the years, but that, those are the big ones. Right. Uh, and as far as Flash goes, I think a lot of the fans now um, are pretty happy with the Rebirth series. Oh, good. We're not calling it, I guess, a reboot, but a lot of people have been saying Rebirth has brought characters back to their core. Um, what is it about Rebirth that, uh, that you think uh, fans are happy about regarding The Flash? I mean, for me, you know, I've been a big Flash fan since I was a little kid, you know, and it's like that was something that I've always, I, that's one of my favorite characters. And I think as we were getting into that, when, I remember before I got the job, you know, like we started talking about The Flash. Uh, I had all these different ideas for the book, and I remember sitting down with Jeff very early on. And he was talking to me about where Birth was and what we were going to do with the book, and I was like, "This is this is terrific." You know, we get to kind of tell the Flash, you know, my Flash. You know, and I know that sounds maybe that sounds silly, but it's like I'm I've been reading the Flash comics as a little kid. I'm a big Flash fan. Maybe I can be a snob about it sometimes, but I was like, "We're doing the Flash that I love, and we're going to really be able to tell a story in the way that, 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 that I love those aspects of the Flash." You know, and I was a big Wally guy when I was a kid. You know, I loved Impulse and Bart and Wally and all that stuff. And it was like you know, relearning all this stuff about Barry, but I'd be able to come in and be like, "We're going to do cool Flash stories with Barry that that feel like they're core to the character, but at the same time build out and, and build." You know, not break down, not take away, but build. And I think that's the stuff that people are excited about is like, let, let, let's talk about why we love this character. You know, why do we love the Flash? Why do we love this character? What is the core about him? What makes us want to read this character? What made us fall in love with them? Let's find all those things. Let's talk about those things and then start there, you know, and then build outward. And I think that's one of the things that Rebirth did with all of the books and with the Flash. And I'm very excited that I got to be a part of that, you know, because as someone who's been a Flash my, my whole life, being able to do that and start with a flash number one and, and this big story, it's been really great. So for those DC fans out there that are reading, you know, several books across Rebirth and are considering the flash, without spoiling too much, do you want to give fans just a, a, an overview of where Barry Allen is at with, with the flash right now? Yeah, oh, man, absolutely. Right now, I mean, we're, we're running the flash to the ringer right now. I mean, we've been doing these this story about Barry dealing with his relationship with the characters around him, but Barry's relationship with the Flash. You know, I mean, at the end of Flash 26, there was a scene where he was talking to Eobar and Thawne, and Eobar said, Barry Allen's greatest enemy is not Reverse Flash. Barry Allen's greatest enemy is the Flash. You know, and there's the challenges up there, and, and Barry is a guy who, to be this thing, he has to sacrifice a lot to be this hero. Um, and that involves sometimes lying to people he loves. And we've been building the story with that idea from the very beginning, you know, we were doing the stuff with Godspeed and the stuff with the, the Black Hole and the Speed Force Storm, the stuff with the Shade, the stuff with the Rogues. We were trying to build this story between him and Wally and him and Iris. And now a lot of that with this looming threat of Eobar Thawne in the background, because he was in the background of that issue one rebirth, right? We had that moment where you kind of saw him, a shadow of him, to just show that he's been watching Barry. And it was like, that all kind of came to a head right after the button when Thawne came back and was able to sort of grab Iris, they ran to the future, and he was able to show, we haven't seen the Flash Museum in a really long time, and he was able to show this Flash Museum that Thawne built, this this crazy big uh, monument to Barry Allen, and Barry Allen got to be confronted with all those ideas. Uh, and so where Barry Allen is at right now, I mean, we're gonna be, it's gonna be a roller coaster ride. You know, it's gonna get kind of dark for a little bit. I don't even like using the word dark with that. I mean, Barry Allen is still gonna be a hero, and he, you know, we're never gonna take away from that, and he's still gonna be the kind of guy who wants to do the right thing. But I think we're going to show that sometimes there's a cost to that, you know, doing the right thing, being the Flash. We're just going to keep digging the idea of the cost and what Barry's willing to do to keep being the Flash and to keep being a hero. But it is going to be a little bit of a downer. Like, I think the end of the storyline might surprise people with some of the stuff we do in issue 27 and then 28 and up. And it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. But I think Barry Allen, you know, he's that guy that no matter how hard it gets, how dark it gets, he's still going to be that light. You know, he's still going to be that hope. And he'll come run out of it with a smile on his face. You know, so we're still going to do all that stuff, but it'll be interesting to show people how, no matter how dark and crazy it gets around Barry, he's still the greatest superhero Absolutely. in the DC Universe. 
Now, uh, one final question. I want to talk quickly about the button and the crossover. Okay. So I was reading the Batman series, um, and I started late with the Flash. All the buzz around the button and the crossover, I thought was absolutely fantastic between the Flash and and, and Batman. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the um, the inspiration behind that idea and crossing those together and bringing the button in and the buzz around, you know, DC fans thinking, whoa, what's going on there? And going through all that. Well, we had learned that they were going to be bringing in the, the button into the storyline. I, I had learned kind of early on when we were writing The Flash, and I just asked. I remember really, really early on, I was like, hey, can I have that in the Flash Rebirth issue? Uh, and they said yes, and so we got to put that scene at the end of Flash Rebirth where Barry and Bruce were looking at the button. And everyone loved that, and we started talking about how do we build on that, and that's where that came from. It was like, when can we do this? How can we do this? And then we started having a lot of conversations about what Barry and Bruce mean to each other, which is a friendship that isn't explored often, but it's a friendship that's there and it's been established. We don't explore it a lot. And so we kept having these conversations about how were we going to do it, was it going to be a mini, or was it going to be in the, the titles, and then ex explore that. And so we had a lot of meetings, and we had a lot of like exciting, fun conversations about how we were going to do it. And then we just sat down and we figured it out. You know, but it was, uh, I mean, it was kind of simple, you know, yeah. it wasn't like some big experience or anything. It was just like, this thing is cool. Let's do this, yeah. you know? And so we got to tell this really fun story with these two characters. Fantastic. Well, keep up the great work. Really appreciate everything you're doing. And thank you for talking with DC Comics News, Josh. Hey, man. Thank you so much. It's really nice to meet you guys. Great. Thank you. Have a good one. Have a good con.